In this video, we onboard a host pool to AVD Insights with the Azure Monitor Agent. Coming up, we're going to take the first step to monitoring AVD by configuring a host pool for AVD Insights using the Azure Monitor Agent. Before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. That helps grow this channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on AVD, Windows 365 with Intune Management, and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, available at unimi.com. The links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. If you're using AVD or plan to use it, one important factor to a successful AVD deployment is monitoring the environment. After all, how will you know if the session hosts are right-sized or if the users are having a good experience without monitoring? Well, the users will let you know if the experience isn't good, but we need some data to back that up, and it always helps to know there's a problem before it affects the users. This is the problem that AVD Insight solves. AVD Insight sends AVD and session host performance and event log information to a log analytics workspace. We can then view that data from a dashboard made up of Azure Monitor workbooks. It provides pre-canned reports that gives us insights into the AVD environment. There's a new version of AVD Insights, more accurately, a new version of the Azure Monitoring Agent that sends session host data to Log Analytics. The old version uses the Log Analytics Agent, a version of the System Center Operation or SCOM Agent. That agent will be deprecated in August of 2024. In this video, we use the replacement Azure Monitor Agent. We need a Log Analytics workspace to get started. We can use an existing workspace, but we'll create a new one coming up. Keep in mind that data retention is set at the Log Analytics workspace. So if you have multiple systems sending data to the same workspace, one needs data retention for a year and the other for a month, all data will be retained for one year. Sending the data to different workspaces provides a different retention period. Also, with the previous Log Analytics agents, we set data collection rules to define performance counters and event logs collected at the workspace. Once set, all computers connected to the workspace would send the same data. With the new Azure Monitor agent, we define the data sent to a workspace with an Azure Data Collection rule. The agent is attached to the data collection rule and that defines the data sent to the Log Analytics workspace. This way, VMs in an AVD environment can send event and performance data to a workspace, while, for example, a test environment could have a different data collection rule that only sends event log information. The advantage over the log analytics agent is that we can send different data to a single log analytics workspace. Let's quickly go over what we're going to take care of in the demo. We'll start by creating a log analytics workspace. You can use an existing workspace if you already have one. Then we'll use pre-created templates to onboard the host pool and the workspace the host pool is attached to. The templates configure diagnostic settings on the host pool and the workspace. After that, we'll use the templates provided by the configuration workbook to create a data collection rule. This defines the data our session host will send to Log Analytics. Next, we'll use more configuration templates provided by AVD Insights to associate the data collection rule to the session host. Add the Azure Monitor agent to the session host and enable managed identities on the session hosts. Managed identities authenticate the Azure Monitor agent to Azure AD. The configuration template will enable the system assigned managed identities. There is an option to use user assigned managed identities as well. We'll also review the steps to add a session host to AVD Insights after it's configured. This could be used if additional session hosts are added to the host pool or if you replace session hosts, a reimage process, for example. Finally, we'll review the data collected by the Azure Monitor agent. Let's jump into the portal and get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. We'll start with creating a Log Analytics workspace. You will need at least the Log Analytics contributor role on the resource group to create a workspace. We'll create the workspace in the portal for this demo, but you could use PowerShell, Azure CLI, Bicep, or an ARM template to create the workspace. Let's go to Log Analytics workspaces and select Add to create a Log Analytics workspace. Select your subscription and resource group if you have one, or create a new one if needed. I'll use an existing one for this example. AVD Lab Demo to RG. Do you think I really need to add the RG at the end of a resource group? Probably not. It's really easy to tell the resource type, but old habits die hard. Anyway, 
Give it a name, AVD Insights Demo for this example. Select a region. It doesn't need to be the same region as the AVD resources. We'll go next to tags. Add tags as needed and go to Review and Crate. And once validation passes, Crate. We'll give it a minute to finish. That finished, we'll set up data collection on the host pool and workspace next. There are a number of steps required to configure AVD Insights. We'll use the configuration workbook to configure the environment. We'll go to Azure Virtual Desktop. And one thing to note, I suggest doing these steps from the host pool we're configuring. If you go to workbooks under AVD, There's a check configuration workbook. The problem with this workbook is the session host data settings. That configures the legacy log analytics agent. We also have to specify the resource group and host pool. Instead, we'll go to the host pool we want to configure. In the host pool, we have insights and insights legacy. The legacy option is for configuring the older log analytics agent. We don't want that. Select Insights to configure the new Azure Monitor agent. From here, we'll open Configuration Workbook. I don't think this is the most elegant interface. It jumps around as you move through it. You may need to set the log analytics workspace and other settings as you go along, but you only need to do this once to configure the host pool and it does the job. The subscription, resource group, and host pool is set based on the host pool we're working from. Select our new Log Analytics workspace. We'll scroll back up. Now that we have the Log Analytics workspace selected, we'll configure the host pool settings. Before we do that, and so we can see what's going on behind the scenes, we're going to open the host pool in another tab. We'll open the host pool and go to diagnostic settings. And there's nothing there. Let's go back to the configuration workbook. That's in the other tab. Let's select configure host pool. It shows a list of the host pool diagnostic settings that will go to the log analytics workspace. All we have to do is deploy the template. We'll give it a minute to finish. Now, if we go back to the host pool diagnostic settings in the other tab and refresh, we now have WVD Insights. That's a legacy holdover from the previous name. Azure Virtual Desktop was Windows Virtual Desktop when it first came out. Let's go to Edit Settings. There are the settings. It's sending the data to our Log Analytics workspace. Let's go back to the Configuration Workbook in the other tab. We'll refresh. Now it shows that the diagnostic settings for the host pool is configured. We'll scroll down to workspace. And next we'll configure the workspace. Like the host pool, this only needs to be done once per AVD workspace. It may show that it's already configured. If that's the case, you can skip this step. Let's open up workspaces in that other tab. From AVD, we'll go to Workspaces, and Workspace 1, and Diagnostic Settings. Here again, it's showing nothing is being collected. Let's go back to the Configuration Workbook in the other tab. We'll configure the workspace, and Deploy. And we'll give this a minute to finish. Now let's go back to the other tab where it shows the properties of the workspace. Refresh. And here we can see what data is now being sent. Those are the configuration changes that these templates deploy. Our workspace is now sending diagnostic data to the log analytics. Let's go back to the configuration workbook. We'll refresh. And now it shows that workspace 01 is configured. Our resource diagnostic settings configuration is complete. Let's go to session host data settings next. 
The previous two steps set up data collection for the host pool in the workspace. Now we need to configure the data that our session host will send to the log analytics workspace. Items like free disk space, CPU and RAM statistics, and event log information. From session host data settings, we need to configure the workspace destination. That's the workspace we're sending our data to. Also, the workbook will create a data collection rule. We need to specify the resource group that it will be created in. This example will use the same one as the Log Analytics workspace. Click Create Data Collection Rule, and we'll deploy the rule. We'll give it a minute to finish. Once it's done, we'll go over to the other tab, and let's search for Data Collection Rule. There it is. Microsoft AVDI followed by the region is our new data collection rule. Let's open that. We'll go to data sources. From here, we can view the counters and logs that the session host will send to the log analytics workspace. We go to performance counters, custom. We can click through. We can see the performance counters that are getting sent to our log analytics workspace. And the same goes for Windows event log. We'll leave that as is and go back to configuration workbook. And now we'll refresh. And it shows our data collection rule we just created. Now let's scroll down and we'll select our data collection rule. Now that we've selected our data collection rule, we'll configure the session host. Let's scroll down some more. We have to associate the data collection rule to our session host. We'll do that by going to deploy association and deploy. Once it's deployed, we'll refresh. Now it shows that there are no session hosts that are missing the data collection rule association. Next, we'll go to Session Hosts Missing Azure Monitor Extension. It found that the two session hosts don't have the extension, so let's add the extension and deploy. We'll wait for that to finish. Once it finishes, we'll refresh, and now it shows that no session hosts are missing the Azure Monitoring Agent extension. And now let's scroll down. It shows our session hosts are missing the managed identity. So just like before, we'll add system managed identity. We'll click to add the identity. And just like before, we'll give it a minute to finish. And once it's done, we'll refresh. And there are no session hosts missing the managed identity. So let's look at what we've done so far. If we go back to resource diagnostic settings, Everything shows that we're collecting data. It's not indicating we're missing anything. And if we go to session host data settings, here everything looks good as well. As you move between this configuration workbook, keep an eye on the different settings like the workspace destination, DCR rule, and selected DCR. Those may become unselected as you move between it. You may need to reset those. We've now onboarded our host pool for AVD Insights. Before we go, there's one more thing. At times, you may need to add session hosts to your host pool, or maybe you're replacing session hosts. You'll need to add them for data collection. To do that, let's go to the host pool, and Insights. When we go to Insights now, it shows us the actual data that it's collecting, it also shows at the top that we're missing data collection from one of our session hosts. We can go to the configuration workbook from the message, or if you need to get into the configuration workbook and you don't see this message, if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, there's a link to the configuration workbook here. Our resource diagnostic settings is configured. There's no problem there. Let's go to session host data settings. And here we want to make sure that all of these options are selected. So workspace destination, we'll select our workspace. 
our data collection rule is set up, but we're missing a data collection rule association from one of the session hosts. That session host is also missing the Azure Monitor extension and it's missing the managed identities. So all we have to do is go to each one of these, deploy the association. We'll come down and add the extension and add the system managed identity. We'll give it a minute to finish. Once the deployments are finished, we'll refresh. And now it shows that none of our session hosts are missing the data collection rule association, the Azure Monitor extension, or the managed identity. Let's go back to AVD Insights. We'll go all the way to the top, refresh, and that message goes away. And one more thing. Let's go back to the configuration workbook. And the third tab, data generated. We just deployed this, so there's not a lot of data here, but this is where you can look to see how much data is getting collected. This is relevant because you're billed for that data. On the screen, you can see the build data over the last 24 hours, the performance counters, AVD diagnostics and events, the top host by performance counter data, data per counter, events, and data per event source. The data generated tab gives you insights into the data that's getting sent to log analytics. That is how to configure AVD insights with the new Azure Monitor agent. That is how to create a new log analytics workspace and onboard a host pool with AVD insights using the new Azure Monitor agent. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.